Hey guys, happy new year. Happy 2019. It is January 2019. I cannot even believe that. That doesn't sound like a thing that just rolls right off my tongue, but it's the reality. My calendar says so. Um, have you been making New Year's resolutions? Have you been setting goals? Have you been thinking about what you want for your life and your business? I bet you have because absolutely everybody in the world is telling you that unless you are setting goals and creating resolutions, you are basically not really engaged in your life. False, all wrong, lies, lies, lies. Um, it's just what we're doing. It's a, it's a trend that's been going on for a long time. Um, not my entire life. I don't remember uh, growing up that uh, we set a lot of New Year's resolutions or set a lot of goals. Um, I grew up in, in communism and so that was uh, maybe the bare necessities that we focused on every single day, no matter whether it was a turn of a new year or not. But here, um, especially since I've been working in the States, I know that New Year's resolutions and setting goals is just a thing you must do. And, you know, I'd be lying if I told you that I don't set goals. I'm not so big on resolutions, but what is really the difference, right? To resolve to move toward a specific uh, target, toward, toward a specific goal, is sort of a resolution to say I'm going to uh, take better care of myself physically, emotionally, mentally um, is a resolution. Those are all things that I would say we tend to say to one another and to ourselves. But one of the things that I want to keep track of as a business strategist and as a branding strategist is to support myself, my staff, my team and our clients in really knowing that goals are meant to interconnect. So if you've followed me for a minute, you know that I talk about the wheel of life and there's even a PDF that I send out to clients and say, hey, take a look at this. And what I want you to imagine is, is, a, is a draw a wheel on a piece of paper and cut it into slices. So fourths, halves, fourths, until you have eight or 12 sort of wedges of your wheel. And we would call that the wheel of life, but really it could be the wheel of anything. I use the wheel to connect us inside the agency to a particular client or project that we're working on to really kind of divide up what are all the things that we're going to need to be focusing on. And each client, even though I roughly do the same thing with everybody I work with, is very different. Their life is different. Their unique approach to their business is different. Never mind that what they're doing um, varies from client to client. So I use the wheel to look at my goals and to create goals that are interconnected and interdependent throughout my life. And I want to encourage you to do the same thing. I am personally on a mission to talk to people in business and remind them that business and life is connected. There's no such thing as life work uh, or life life, personal life and work life and balance in all of that. There is interconnectedness and there is interdependence. Your work is an expression of who you are. And the more you are in touch and the more I am in touch with who I am and what I do and why I do it, the more balance I will be experiencing because I'll be in the motion and the movement of my work. And that's really what I want for all of us to have that sort of awareness and be intentional about what it is that we're choosing to do and how we choose to do it, but really be grounded in why we're doing what we're doing. Okay, so this, this, this wheel, this wheel of life could be a wheel of goals. And so you just would look at, it doesn't have to be 12 things, it could be four things. You look at, the goal that you have for 2019. And if you really want to break it down, you'd maybe even look at the quarter, the first quarter of 2019, January, February, March. That's not, that's not even spring yet. And that time's going to fly by. What do you want for yourself in that period of time? How does that connect throughout your life? 
Let me give you an example. I know that we talk about physical health a lot. There's a trend in coaching um, that I'm noticing in, and in lifestyle uh, blogging. There's lifestyle personalities who uh, get on Instagram and get on their blogs and somehow they've become weight management experts and they just wanna tell everybody what's worked for them, assuming that it's probably going to work for you too. So we are inundated with this information that we must be healthy and must try a new diet, must try a new program. And what I wanna say to you is choose something that works for you, listen to whomever you want to listen to, choose something, try something out if you want to do that. But I want you to be more in touch uh, with why you're doing what you're doing and what the value in that in that conversation is for you say it's health and fitness um what is that what's the value in that conversation for you um how does that connect to your goal how does that reflect throughout your life right so if you are a healthier fitter more aware person uh with your physical health what is the value in that and how does it translate to other pieces in your life? How might you be uh, better in relationship or different in relationship? How might you be different with your clients or customers in your audience? How might you be a different parent if you're parenting? How might you be a different influencer? Uh, how might you behave differently in your community? And, and again, all of those actions and those behaviors connect them back to the value proposition, to the value that you are, are espousing to create in yourself and in the work that you do by making, taking action toward that goal. I hope that makes sense because if you were to write it out on a piece of paper and you were to imagine these wedges just filled in with the goal but also with the value of that goal, the, the value proposition of what it is you're pursuing and you were to imagine looking at it down at that piece of paper and you were looking at it, you would see a connectedness of what it is that you're doing and why you're doing it. And that's really what I hope we get to experience with our goals. Otherwise, our goals are this, this chase. Uh, we're, just, we're just pursuing it and we're chasing after it or we're being hunted by it. It's, it's sort of like a race that feels uncomfortable and that's not sustainable. You're not going to be able to do something uh, for, for long term if you're feeling chased by it or if you're chasing after it, right? So I want you to have, for all of us, I want us to have this real connectedness and, and awareness um, of what it is we're doing and what we're, what we're after and what we're trying to uh, achieve. And here's the other reason why I want you to pay attention to this. Because you're inevitably, you're inevitably going to hit a roadblock. Something's gonna happen. Some, some circumstance is gonna come in. Um, maybe it's not a circumstance. Maybe it's just gonna get really hard. You know, I don't know if you've ever just made a goal. I was gonna say chased after goal, even if you're chasing after goal. I don't know if you've ever set a goal and intentionally pursued it and then it just kind of got too hard because it does, because it does. And nothing will, will support you more uh, internally in, in continuing to, to move forward and to, to persevere in what it is you're trying to do than if you really know who you are and why you're doing what you're doing. So that's really what I'm after. I am after for us, for all of us, to know why, because things can get hard. And I want to tell you the truth. Um, it's been, business is hard. Building a business is hard. Running a business is challenging. There are a lot of roadblocks and, and just kind of, you get tired and you get weary. It, it, gets, it gets challenging. And so if, if I don't remember why I'm doing what I'm doing, if I don't remember what the value proposition was inside of that goal. If I don't write it down and interconnect it with one another and have it roll like a wheel, then I'm going to be more likely to give up on it. But see, the thing is, I'll remember what I said I was going to do. And then I'll remember that I gave up on it because I didn't 
wasn't connected to it and I didn't really persevere. And then I'm going to feel guilty and then I'm going to feel like just ugly shame feelings. And there's no need for that. There's no need for us to borrow trouble and take on baggage. There's enough things we have to carry around as it is. Let's not create more and extra baggage for ourselves. So that's really why I am so passionate about this conversation. And if you and I were grabbing a drink or coffee or, you know, sharing a meal with each other, this is what I would, what, what I would ask you about. This is what I would want to know. Um, and not because it's January. I would ask you the same kinds of questions in the middle of July. Um, we might be sitting by the pool then. Okay, so I'm gonna carry it away. Um, I want you to do this exercise and let me know what you're, what you're coming up with. I wanna hear from you. I wanna hear what's, what's popping up for you. I wanna hear if you are maybe pursuing a goal that you're like, you know what, this is not interconnected with what I wanna do. Um, I've decided there's no value proposition attached to this and I don't actually wanna pursue it. And so I don't wanna do it. I'm not gonna do it, I'm gonna drop that goal. I picked up something different. I wanna hear all of that. Um, you are at the center of your life and that's important. That matters. Um, that is the opposite of an egomaniacal statement. Um, I believe it takes a lot of strength and humility and a lot of wisdom and a lot of thoughtfulness and prayer to, to be at the center of your life because that is where you are most you, um, and you get to be, uh, who you've been created to be. So I am crazy about that conversation and thank you for, uh, listening and joining me in this uh, oh we're in a new space I wanted to tell you that we're in my office uh, for the new year we're gonna try this out I like the lighting here more although I will sit with you on my couch because I did just get a new one and you should definitely have a peek at it okay bye guys we'll see you next time <laughs>